cookie swirl? See? <laughs> Chocolatey chippy cookies. Woo, we are going to be making a <gasps> Gemma stone today. All right, so you can see that I have a couple of these other Gemma stones right here that I've made in previous videos. And I had a request from a cookie fan to make a pink Gemma stone. So whoop, I have some of these pink diamonds right here, which is going to make the perfect, perfect pink Gemma stone. So I'm going to open this up. I'm gonna get out one of these pink diamonds. Oh, that is so perfect. Actually, let's make that twin pink diamonds. Ooh, perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm gonna make double the Gemma stone, which is perfect since I have a whole bag of them anyways. So it looks like these are gonna be the pink diamond twins. So now to get started on this craft project, I'm going to be using some of this air dry clay that you can get at any craft store. Take a little bit right here, just like that. And I'm going to roll out some legs for Gemma. Ba, 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 ba. So I'm gonna roll out all these little pieces to be their feet. Ba, ba, ba. As you can see, this clay sometimes has a little bit of like a crack in it like that. I'm just gonna add some water and that's gonna help smooth out the clay. All right, so in here I have my little feet balls. So now I'm gonna take two of them, squeeze them together with the line directly in the middle, just like that. So it's not the flat part, it's the line down the middle. I'm going to press it into the little feet so it makes a little diamond impression. Like that. Same thing with this little feet. To win diamonds. And press her on in. Like that. All right, perfect. So now I have their feet all taken care of and that's gonna dry now because it's air dry clay. Now I'm gonna start creating the pieces for her crown and I'm gonna use a package of a season five Shopkins and I'm going to snip off a piece of the plastic. Okay. Ah! One of my twins fell apart. There we go. So now I'm gonna take my plastic and I'm going to actually make these little tiny points, which Gemma Stone has six of them on her crown. Now, of course, for my younger cookie fans, always have an adult help you with scissors. So I'm gonna make 12 of them since I'm doing this a double project. <laughs> so here I have my little crown points and I'm gonna put these off to the side. I'll get back to those later. And since I have my little plastic, I'm gonna cut out little tiny arm flurries. As you can see, Gemma Stone has like this little arm fluffy here. So I'm just gonna cut that out. Little tiny pieces circle right from my plastic. One for each arm, so I'm gonna need four of these. La -da -da. La -da -da. So now I'm gonna create even more Gemma Stone pieces by using a hot glue gun. And of course, a hot glue gun must be operated by an adult. So for my younger cookie fans, you have to have an adult help you. Have to safety first. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a toothpick to kind of help me hold some of these little crown pieces down. And I'm just going to put a little bit of some hot glue on them, just like that. Whoop, if you leave it on too long, they'll curl up. Whoop, Cause it's just so hot. Do -do -do. Just a little bit of glue. No. And it doesn't have to be on perfect at all because we're gonna be cutting these to get them to fit for the crown. And same thing for the little circly pieces. I'm just going to put on a little bit of some glue. Woo! All right, so now I have all of my little pieces and I know it looks really strange right now, but it's all gonna work out. So while I have my hot glue gun on, I'm also going to create eyes for Gemma Stone. So I'm going to just take my glue gun and I'm just going to press out a couple of these little circles just like this. La -da -da. And I'm gonna do a couple of them because I like to give myself lots of choices whenever I do her eyes. So I'm just pressing out that glue and just letting it dry. Woo, that should be plenty of eyes to pick from and let everything dry. Now, once all the little pieces dry, I'm just gonna cut them, kind of shape them a little bit more into little crown pieces. Perfect. Same thing with her little arm fluffies. I'm just gonna recut the circles out again. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Ba -ba -da. Okay, all of my little eyes now are dried. So now I'm just going to select which ones I want. Just any random ones that I think would make it a really good eyeball for our little Gemma Stone. And I just wanna pick any two that are the same size. You want the same size eyeballs. And if there's any paper on them, all you have to do is take some scissors and carefully, carefully cut the paper off. Same thing with my little arm fuzzies. Just go ahead and I'm going to clip around them if they look a little bit too big, just so they're the perfect size. Now I'm gonna take some of my Elmer's glue and I'm gonna take each one of their eyes and glue them on. Little glue, take my stone and just place those eyes on. Whoop. Do, do, do. There we go. 
And I'm gonna glue on the teeny tiny little arm fluffies as well. Whoop, just right on the sides of their arms. Whoop, there we go. All right, everything is all glued on. Now it's time to make some gemstone eyes. So I have my black acrylic paint. Give it a shake. Take a little paint on my paintbrush. And then each one of these eyes, I'm just going to paint black. Blah, 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 blah. Do, do, do. Little, little Gemma. And can't forget about the other one, because this is double, double diamond. Now, while her eyes are drying, I'm going to paint on her eyebrows by just using a toothpick. Dip it in my paint. There we go. And I'm going to use the other side of my toothpick. And then I'm going to put on little eyelashes. Ba -ba -da. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, now I'm gonna paint on the color of their eyes. Now, because these two are sisters, I'm gonna paint them two different shades of blue. One's a little bit lighter and one's a little bit darker. Check out these names, Parrot Blue and Blue Cotton. But before I put on the color, I'm gonna add in some white. So I'm gonna take my brush and just go around the eyes, just like that. Perfect. Couldn't be more perfect. There's one sister diamond, and here is the other one. Perfect. They almost look like little hearts in their eyes. While I'm waiting for their eyes to dry, I'm gonna be painting their feet with this metallic silver. So I think they would look really good with some silver details. So I'm just using a toothpick to kind of help me hold the clay piece down and paint, 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 paint. Do -do 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 -do. Little gemstone princesses. Let's paint their eyes now. One of them is gonna have lighter blue eyes. and darker blue eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with some black paint, and now I'm really gonna start shaping the eye. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Now I'm gonna take a toothpick and dip it in some white, and just add in a little doop to their eyes. Doop, 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 doop. Now I'm gonna use a teeny tiny small dot of this gray color for just that little shimmer in Gemma's eye. Tiny little touch. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go in and color in their arm fluffies just by using the same color I used for their eyes. So I'm gonna take a little bit of paint on my paintbrush and dip it in some water and then dab it on a paper towel. And this way it creates a very, very, very light little color on the arm fluffy. You don't want too much. You want just a little hint of color. So dip in paintbrush into the paint, dip it in some water, and, and now a paper towel. Ba -ba -ba. Now I'm gonna create little Gemma Stone's arms by using the hot glue gun. And again, for my younger cookie fans, you have to have an adult help you because it is hot glue. So I'm gonna take my little Gemma Stone here and I'm going to hold up the glue gun and I'm going to press on right onto her little arm fluffy and create a little tiny bead and just hold it of glue. Maybe add a little bit more and kind of hold it. And this is giving the glue time to kind of harden and dry as I create her arm, as you can kind of see here. So I'm just holding and waiting and waiting and waiting. Doo, doo, doo. See, and it's kind of getting harder now. So now I can kind of slowly start backing away to create a very, very droopy arm for her. There we go. Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> this is where she gets super long, stretchy looking arms. Almost still attached. There, perfect. And I can kind of move it up to kind of bend it how I want it to go a little bit. Let that arm dry. Take her over to the other side and do the same thing. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Look at those super silly arms. Making an arm for Gemma. So I don't want it to touch the diamond at all, so I'm just kind of moving her arm. There we go, until that glue starts to harden. Oh, that arm is gonna be a good one. While those little arms are cooling, I'm gonna take my glue gun, and for each one of the little crown pieces, I'm going to add a tiny little bead of glue to the tip. Just kind of round it out on the top, just like that, to create these little tiny round balls on the top of the crown. All right, now that these super long, silly arms have had a chance to dry, now I'm just gonna trim them down and cut them so they actually look like little blown glass, like Gemma's arms. So just keep cutting them until they kind of look like Gemma Stone's arms. Snip. All right, now I'm gonna create the crowns for the little gems. So I'm gonna use a pinch of my air dry clay. Just a little pinch. 
Whoop. And I'm actually going to roll out into a ball. Do, 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 do. And if it starts to crack a little bit, I just add a little bit of some water to it to kind of get it soft again. Okay, I've got my ball, and then I'm gonna kind of flatten it a little bit and kind of roll it in my fingers to kind of create a crown shape. And while the clay is still nice and soft, I'm gonna take these tiny little pieces that I made, these little triangle pieces, and I'm actually going to trim them down. So I'm gonna cut the extra off of the bottom, and I'm going to actually stick them into the clay like that. Do, 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 sticking them in the clay. Now I'm just gonna let these crown pieces dry. They do not have to stand up. It's just to make the little impressions in the clay. So I'll let those dry. While I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm gonna paint little Gemma's hands. So I'm gonna take some of my pink acrylic paint, dip a little bit on my brush, then dip it in some water, then on a paper towel so it gets really not as much paint on the brush. And I'm just gonna paint her little hands on. Just kinda add some color to them. Got to do it twice. There's two of them. Now I'm going to take this multi-purpose sealer and seal in the color in these little Gemma's eyes by just painting it on and on her little hands. Don't forget to do it twice if you're making twin diamonds. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's start putting together these gemstone twins. So I'm just going to be using my Elmer's glue. Whoop. There we go. And I'm gonna add a little bit of some glue to the inside of the feet. Smash them together, just like that. Add a little bit of some glue to the middle here. Now I'm gonna take my gemstone and just place her right on top so she fits perfectly right on the feet, just like that. Slide. All right, so while the girls are drawing, while their crowns are drawing, I'm just gonna start making their little pearls that are gonna go on top of their head. Yep, by using my little air dry clay. Just take a little pinch. Boop. And I'm gonna roll out these tiny little pearls just in my fingers, just to make these round little, ah, these round little balls. All right, I have like a million of them right here, so I went a little crazy, but I had to double up because there's two of them. All right, so I'm just gonna let these pearls dry. All right, everything's looking pretty dry, so now I'm just going to finish the crown. And yep, I'm just gonna take a little bit of some glue on each of these little crown pieces. A little bit of glue. And I'm just going to glue each one of these pieces right back onto the crown. Just take those pieces and put them in. Now I'm gonna paint their crowns silver, the same silver color that I painted their legs. So just brush on this awesome paint. Now I'm gonna take my Elmer's glue and I'm just gonna glue these adorable little crowns on now. Take a little bit of some glue, put it right here and attach them off to the side of her head, just like that. Now I'm gonna place two bottles of paint side by side, just like that, and I'm gonna place Gemma on top, so that way she kinda stays flat for the crown to dry. Do -do -do. There we go, and let them dry. All right, now it's time for their little pearl necklaces to go right on top of their head. Glue out where I want my necklace to go. Do -do -do. And then just drop the pearls on there. Do -do -do. Now, I'm gonna add in some color to their necklaces. And I'm actually just gonna use some nail polish. I have this really pretty, like, shimmery pearl color. So I think this would look beautiful on their pearls on their heads. Now I'm gonna add on some glitter. So I'm gonna use this super duper shimmery nail polish glitter right on top of the pearls. Oh, so pretty. And really you can do this in any color you want. That is the fun of a creative project. You are in control of everything. Now I'm just gonna seal everything in with some clear nail polish. So I'm gonna paint the crown so it has a super glossy shine and her necklace and her feet. And a touch of gloss on their hands. This will really give it like a glass look. Ooh. Yeah, oh wow. <gasps> My cousins are here. Ooh, princesses. Can't wait to take pictures. Whoa! <laughs> I present to you Princess Jenna and Jenna Stone. Hi! Hey! Whoa, twin gemstones! Smile! 
Woo, chocolatey chippy cookies. All right, these little gemstones turned out absolutely perfect. I hope it comes across through the screen that you can tell that one of them has a little bit of a darker blue eye than the other one, but they are definitely twin gemstones that are super duper cool. I am so happy with them. Yay. All right, this is a super fun little project. So if you happen to try this out, please send me the pictures. I would love to see pictures of your Gemma stones that you created. Yeah, take a picture. All right, do not forget to subscribe for more Shopkins fun. And if you haven't watched already, don't forget to check out the video of making this red gemstone or this green gemstone. Ooh, let's go up to the castle. Ooh, woo, and I will see you cookies in my next video. Bye, woo -hoo. princesses are here. They're so cute. Twins. Yeah, it was nice meeting them. And I really like how their crown matched their feet. No, 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 no. I think their crown matched their eyes. No, it was their feet. Their eyes. Mm -hmm. I know which one the crown matched. It was...